The latest came on Twitter from game developer Will Kurzlake, who shared a picture of a geometrical grey pattern on a white background. Sounds pretty straightforward, until you realize there are 12 black dots blinking in and out of existence at intersection points. On the pattern, black dots usually appear where your vision is focused, with the surrounding dots seemingly disappearing. Although it's hard to believe, there is actually 12 black dots permanently in the image. Majority of people just can't see them. There are 12 black dots at the intersections in this image. Your brain won't let you see them all at once. Pick Twitter com ig 6 p 9 h o l o French scientist Jacques Ninio said the illusion has to do with humans having sketchy peripheral vision when the white discs in a scintillating grid reduced in size and outlined in black they tend to disappear one sees only a few of them at a time in clusters which move erratically on the page Quote, Mr. Ninio explained, where they are not seen, the grey alleys seem to be continuous, generating grey crossings that are not actually present. Some black sparkling can be seen at those crossings where no disc is seen. The illusion also works in reverse contrast. So essentially, you will see black dots when you are focusing in the center of your field of view. But outside of this area your visual system is filling in what it thinks is going on around it. Because the majority of the pattern is grey lines on a white background. Your brain assumes this is what will be outside your field of vision. Which is why there are no black dots. How many dots did you see? Continue the conversation on Twitter at MattyDun11. Can you really believe your eyes? Horizon reveals some of the strangest illusions created by science to show how our natural senses really work, and how we could learn to manipulate them. News. Com. Our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information, including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information, how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.